I want to talk about Michelle Lefray's Reed Replacement System. It's uh, her company's Silverwing. It's a 3D printed frame. There's some uh, hardened and tempered uh, uh, flattening and rivet punches, as well as uh, a, a hunk of metal uh, with a notch in it. Uh, to pound out the reeds. I use a regular hammer. I don't need to, I don't use, I don't favor a brass uh, lightweight hammer. Um, and here it is in action. I'm just gonna pound a reed out and put it back in uh, just to show that uh, a, a, a reed that's been put back on is just as good, just as secure as a, a, a factory reed. So here I'm, uh, I'm punching out the reed from the, the plate. The rivet, I don't usually do this, but I, I figured why not give it a try? I'm keeping the, the factory rivet. It, usually I put in a, um, a new rivet or put in a screw, but um, here I want the rivet to stick out a little bit from the base, so I'm just uh, tapping it gently, and uh, there's just a little bit of it uh, protruding on the other end. Uh, and now, if I was a bit organized, I would have kept the same punch. But I'm going to just enlarge the hole a little bit. This is sort of unorthodox, but uh, it works. So I'm just going to enlarge that hole, flare it up a little bit, so the rivet uh, sits in there easily. I'm going to pull out the base, so now we have that flat surface, the flattening surface, under uh, the, the rivet. Uh, and I'm going to center the reed with, with the, the rivet sitting in it. Let's just pretend this was a reed harvested from another harmonica. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, as an example. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get the question, why'd you take the reed off and put it back on? But let's say you harvested this from another um, harmonica. The trick here, use the slot to center the reed and position the... Don't, don't focus on the rivet. Focus on the, the reed in the slot, and the rivet will center itself. So here I am, I'm holding it in place, and two, three little taps of the hammer, bang, 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 uh, maybe another little extra one, <coughs> and uh, uh, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, you can see everything looks nice and flat. It's in place. Uh, let me get the plinker here. Uh, actually, it needs to be centered. Don't be surprised if uh, a reed needs to be centered. Very usual, very uh, common occurrence. You need a reed wrench to do uh, reed replacements. Now, instead of looking up at the light, I'm, I'm just sort of facing the camera. Here it goes. All right, now, Let's uh, let's say that you got the reed in, and here's a common problem: the reed is crooked in the slot. Uh, so how are we going to straighten that out? Uh, well, we're going to file down the head of the rivet uh, so that it's uh, forming a little bit of a triangle. Now, the high end of the triangle, as you punch that down, is going to push the reed to the, to one side. Okay, so here's a look if you can see, squint, squint your eyes, you can see that uh, the triangle here. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Um, there's a little sharp peak on that one, that one draw uh, rivet. Here it is, there you can see it clearly right there. Hammer that, that push the reed to the side. Now before I do that, I want to create a little bit of space on the underside of the reed. Uh, I want to create a little bit of space on the bottom so that it doesn't un enlarge the hole that much, that the rivet expands on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just holding that in place. A couple of wax. You see that reed t uh, t uh, torqued? That reed turned a little bit as it as it got straightened. Um, so here it is. It's probably could use another whack. I just sent it with a reed wrench, and it, it it's 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 better than it was. But we're gonna we're gonna give it one more hit. And watch that reed, it's going to turn a little bit as, as it gets pounded in. Okay, there it is, centered. You see with the, the margins on either side now, there's clearance on either side. Let me give you a better view here. And it's as simple as that, how to center the base of a reed that's been shifted over. That's, and that's using the Silverwing reed replacement system.